Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. I'm doing okay. Welcome back to the Pinterest Inspiration Collaboration hosted by Creations by Kimber here on YouTube. We're in April already. Actually, we're almost into May, right? Because we're in the 20s now. So anyway, I want to share with you what I made. Now, I told you I was going to be doing embossing folder stuff and I kind of got away from that last couple of months. I think last month and month before last. I can't really remember. These months are running together, days, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm using, I use this Lifestyle Crafts. I think this is American Crafts now. They bought them out, I'm not sure. And I just want to be completely honest. I can't remember if I got this in a D-stash or a, um, got it from Tuesday morning. But this doesn't in, give you a good embossing impression for well, the way I use it. So you will need to put a shim in okay put a shim in i also um used this stamp set that i got right here i'm using this little cupcake and this is from diamond press and i use some regular paper cardstock paper and some alcohol markers and this is what i made they're all the same but i thought they were really cool and you know you can go to the pinterest link and see them so it's a white sheet of paper with a blue strip at first i had um embossed this and I was just going to put like a little sentiment and I went to look at it and I was like oh I don't know how that looks so what I did is I took the paper and I just inked around the edges because like I said some of them it doesn't seem like it got embossed really well and other spots it did and I used some Michaels um envelopes I think this is my favorite one I'm not sure I like all of them I'm hungry my birthday um is coming up soon and the big roommate said he's going to go get a box cake and make it. So I don't know if that's true because he does not cook. So I'm, I'm anxious to see that. Everyone that's participating is in the description box. I thought that we would go ahead and make one really quickly together. Um, so what I've done, what I'm deciding to do is I am going to pick an area. See, I cut most of them at the bottom, as you can see. So I have decided to pick an area that I don't mind like chopping up. So like right here, you can cut this out and put this on here, right? So you can cut that piece out. And then you can go and find another piece from maybe here and cut that out. But since we cut the bottom portion off, it's a little bit harder to do. And I think um, that we may go with yellow. Like this is fine too. You know, it doesn't have to be um, what you think someone will want or won't, will not want. But just for us, because we're using our scraps up, for our sake, we're going to use what we have. So I'm going to use the yellow. And all I'm going to do is just ink up the edges with mustard seed on the white. Just like that. Then you just stamp out your little sentiment. Since we're going to be fussy cutting this, it doesn't um, matter your paper because I'm going to fussy cut this out so I do have a scrap of cardstock that I use for butchering <laughs> so you just stamp out your image um, this stamps really well the little um, cupcake so I'm not sure if the diamond press actually has a a die for this in the kit that I got I don't get I didn't get a die so I'm not sure if they do if not this is a clean image you can just run it through your scanning cut if you have a scanning cut and it will do wonders now I this is fresh ink so it may run a little and you just color in your image whatever color you want I am using this color because this looks like caramel to me or caramel I say caramel. Um, we have a nothing but cake right down the street from our house that whew, I miss. I miss a lot. I must admit. Okay, I can't remember if I said I used spice marmalade or not. It's mustard seed for the yellow. I don't remember what I said, honestly. All right, so now that's just crazy. Um, <laughs> Now you're going to take your, your layer piece and I'm using this orange because I don't have any yellow bases that I want to use. Why is this? 
So you just um, put some type of glue or adhesive on the back and you line up your image with your card and you just press down on it, burnish the back. Now with these a little bit are going to be off because I had to cut down this card base, card front. It was it's supposed to be four and a half four and a quarter by five and a half but you know that's the actual a2 size card depending on the paper right so it had to be chopped down some now if you wanted to you can turn this upside down because happy birthday is kind of all over the place like this is happy birthday happy birthday and then this is upside down but i want to keep it in that way and then you can just use some tape if you like okay now with your cupcake I popped all of mine up, so I just took a strip of already cut foam tape, put it down, press down with my finger, and then lift up just like that. And I want mine to hang off a little bit because I feel like this, if you look at it, um, seems off a bit, so I want it to kind of hang off. Now, I do want to talk about these things. These came from Joanne Fabric. And these are copyright 2017. So the problem with these is that they do not, the st sticky stuff that's on there falls off, mm, doesn't transfer all the way properly. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. And since we have such a large, so I'm trying to roll it off. I mean, you could use your tape, of course, but I like to use that adhesive. All right, so this is our Pinterest inspiration card that we made together um i really think that we don't use our embossing folders enough because they're very very versatile you can do lots with them or you can do little with them like this one has no sentiment because every the sentiment is in the embossing folder it says happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday and i thought about stamping us something on the inside but this card you know is that grainy card so i don't want to do that that's one reason why i didn't dress Instead, I could just take a strip, right? Anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching. Please click in the description box and check out all the other wonderful creators. Until next time, happy crafting.